Hello guys, what's good, what's poppin'? My name is Ria and welcome to Eye Candy Barrier. Today we're gonna get right into another episode of Stash or Trash, where I talk about new releases that have come up in the makeup community and whether it's worth stashing in my collection or just mentally trashing and putting to the side. Because honestly, there have been some products that I have revisited and can't spend my money on. This is obviously just for fun and honestly my opinion so if you guys agree and disagree with me that's all right we are all entitled to our opinions. I would love to know from what I mentioned today what's your favorite in the comments down below and let's start a discussion. Obviously this has been inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It? I Will Leave her channel in the description bar below. She's super talented and super hardworking. I love her videos so, so much. And without further ado and further blabbing, let us hop right into this video. So from what I've seen on Trend Mood this week, there seems to be a lot of new releases. By the way, if you guys were wondering what makeup look I am wearing and how I got this look, I will definitely leave it in the eye above if it's already up or I will leave it linked in the description bar below once I upload it. But let me just hop right into my Instagram. I will leave it linked up here as well as down below. It's just eye candy by Rhea. So we have someone new to the market and it is Starbucks. I know, who would have thought? Starbucks is coming out with four lip products for the celebration of this s'mores frappuccino returning and I'm confused but then I'm not surprised because there have been a lot of food inspired makeup products and I'm not sure whether I love it or hate it you know what I mean like I love food I love makeup but do I want both kind of merging together like I don't know whether they're like cute or just gross you know what I mean like Anyway, it's a frappuccino, it's s'mores, we love it, we love fraps, we love s'mores, we love Starbucks, and coffee. Coffee is life. There is no kind of information on its availability, and no information on its pricing. But I just want to let you guys know that this is coming out, will I buy it? No, and not because of anything, I don't find that it's particularly unique. I mean, it might smell like s'mores, but the colors and stuff are something I already have in my collection, so I won't be going out and grabbing it, and plus, I doubt that it's going to be available in Australia. If it is, I would be quite surprised, and then I might reconsider it, but I'm just going to trash it for now, in my mind, because I don't feel that it's particularly worth buying. Next up we have the Laura Mercier is coming to Sephora and releasing 10 new shades of lip pencils and these are the wooden ones not the roll up ones. The thing is they're quite pink toned and actually I'm on a hunt for lip liners but I'm not a fan of the wooden lip pencils. I know a lot of people like that but I'm personally a fan of these roll-up kind of lip liners. The other type is the Colourpop lip liners where, I don't know, it doesn't have that wooden feel. It's just the texture. It's personal preference, again. So mentally, I'm just going to trash them right now. But apparently there are different lip shades. And if I see good reviews on this, I might reconsider trashing this product. We also have another sneak peek of the Too Faced Born This Way creamy buildable full coverage multi-use complexion powder. I am so freaking keen for this. I want to stash it but at the same time your girl doesn't use powders. The only powder I use is my Cody Espan powder and that's pretty much it. And I feel like if it's not necessary, why go out of my, my way and spend it? But at the same time, I'm super interested because I've never loved a concealer as much as I loved the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in Natural Beige, which is my shade. So I want to stash it and 
I might go in stores and if it is as creamy and full coverage as they claim it to be and the reviews are good because I do have oily skin but I would use it more for just heading to the gym or the grocery store and to run like mini errands then your girl's gonna be stashing this. Next up we have the Sigma Beauty Eyeshadow Base Primer. For a second there I thought they were like eye crayons and I'm like well that's 50 shades of beige right there but nah they're just bases. I'm not sure if it's available, gonna be available in Sephora but if it is I definitely would want to go swatch it but I personally usually put either NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white when I'm wearing really bold colourful eyeshadows or use a concealer when I'm just wearing eyeshadow. I love makeup but I find if it's not necessary, if it's not calling to me like a necessity then I don't feel like it's worth spending. $15 each so they're not that expensive but I should see when it comes to Australia and how expensive it might be because if it's going to be above $20 I just don't find it's worth stashing. Next up we have a sneak peek of the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer and I feel that this product is perfect. This kind of rounds up the Dior makeup family and this was like the only product missing. I do, I'm really really intrigued by this but also I know it's not in my price range. I definitely want to see Quite a few reviews before buying it but say if I had the money theoretic in theory I would definitely be stashing this apparently this face and body primer is meant to have a radiant and blur finish which is instantly plumping mattifying and has a 24-hour wear so if it lives up to all those claims and it has good reviews then I would definitely be considering strap stashing this if I save up save up enough money or have a gift card to purchase it. I think the last high-end official Sephora brand Viseart has finally dropped single eyeshadows and I think this is perfect. I have heard so many reviews about Viseart and there's always I feel like everyone says I love this palette but I feel like it's either missing a shade or I would replace these two shades or switch them around. And I find this is a perfect way to create your own palette with finishes such as mattes, metallics, crystalline highlighters, chromatic foils, and duochromes. I've always been intrigued to try out the Busy Art eyeshadows. I love the colors. You know what? I might swatch them. And if they are as beautiful as everyone says they are, I might stash this. Next up, we have the ColourPop new release of the new Super Shock Extreme Shadows. Okay. And they are 6 for 30. I don't know if they sell them individually. Party Party is definitely intriguing and calling my name. I'm still like waiting for a few more releases to put to my Colourpop order. So I definitely have the Makeup by Shayla collaboration. A few Colourpop palettes in there but I'm just waiting because I know that there's going to be another one another release and then I would want to get more so I just am waiting for maybe one more release to see if I want it and then I'm going to put through the order and this I think was the release that I was waiting for to add to my cart and yeah I'm definitely going to be stashing party party and maybe sorry for partying but that's about it. That's Those are the two which are really, really intriguing. So I'm definitely stashing that and trashing the rest. Because I feel like those colors, just, I have them, you know. I don't need them. Next up, we have Rihanna adding to a summer collection. It is, I don't know why I'm doing that. Like, what has gotten in me? I don't know. She is coming out with... New Vivid Eyeliner Trios in Baycation, Bayside, and Baywatch. And Poutsicle 7 Bold Lip Colors with a Juicy Satin Finish. They are quite intriguing. Everything by Rihanna 
intrigues me. I'm so into colour at the moment, like colourful everything. This is definitely intriguing me. The blue, if you can see in the image, the blue like periwinkle eyeliner and the green one, that's definitely calling my name. I'm not a fan of bold lip colours, but bold eye colours and eyeshadows and eyeliners, I'm all about that life. Yeah, and I definitely want to see more of the collection and what colours what and swatches and reviews, but I'm definitely stashing this like mentally like I'm gonna keep an eye out for this and if I like anything I'm gonna definitely pick it up. We also have a, another release from BH Cosmetics. I feel like BH Cosmetics are coming out like are up there with Colourpop with, in terms of like how much they release products but they are coming out with the new Santa Fe eyeshadow palette. This is again just another warm toned palette with the pop of blue and I'm gonna say thank you next and we're just gonna move on because this is really not calling my name at all I think we've all seen this before it's just like panned out differently literally in different shaped pans you know so I'm just mentally trashing it for now next up elf is coming out with skincare and this is something I'm super excited about because I love seeing drugstore skincare products because your girl is always balling on a budget. If I can get anything with a cheaper price tag and that has the same quality, I'm all about that life, you know? They're coming out with a super clarifying cleanser, super toned toner, super mask, super hydrate moisturizer. Out of all of them, I'm definitely going to be stashing the super mask because I love face masks. And I am definitely intrigued by a hydrating face mask if it ever releases in Australia and ever comes out here. If not, then you know, your girl has to wait. This is something that I literally lost my shit over. It is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Juicy Olive Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what I'm talking about. This is such a beautiful green palette and this is a palette that I have been on the hunt for for the longest time. It retails for $30 but honestly it's expensive but when I like something I'm willing to pay any amount of money for it because I know I'm going to get good use out of it. So this just calls my name. The colours in the pen, they don't look that different, but on the swatches, they just look so stunning. What is happening with my hands? They look like a claw. I don't know what's happening. But, oh, this is me on the inside when I see this palette. This is gorgeous. I love it. Stashing it. If I had to get anything that I mentioned so far, it's this palette. We also have the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits. Now wait, she's bringing back her holiday shades, which were popular. Now, let me just say, I don't think she's bringing them back, but I do feel like she had a few extra in stock. I, out of curiosity, my little, my little self hopped onto the Kylie Cosmetics website and was like, oh, I haven't been on here in a while. Um, I don't even know how to say this, but you girls spend a whole lot of money on a whole lot of lip kits. And then I found out the next day that she was having the buy one and get one free lip kit sale. So I was dying on the inside but I have no regrets because I freaking love Kylie Cosmetics lip kits. They are just my ride or die and honestly there's something about her lip kits that just make not only me feel good, but just overall just suit someone with my skin tone. I am wearing Dulce K on my lips right now and I am living for this color. I was surprised by all the reviews and people are still buying her stuff. Let me know if you guys want a swatch video down below. I would love to do it of all the lip kits I ha do have in my collection and have bought. So... I went on the website again, so I was going to get Snow Way Bay and Sweater Weather, but unfortunately, Sweater Weather sold out, so then I was like, oh, what's the point, you know? Um, and I didn't want to force myself to get 
better not pout. Fortunately, I didn't end up buying this, but I was literally gonna stash all of them. Don't you just love it when you are like mid filming and you're like on a roll and then your battery just dies? Yeah, that's what happened. And now I'm just like so like lost. And now that my battery is a little bit more charged, we were talking about the KKW nude shades, new nude shades. Honestly, I haven't been that into Kim Kardashian's makeup line only because I don't think it's targeting me and plus I made that huge ass Kylie Cosmetics order first of all I'm not a lipstick person I'm super fussy I'm trashing these now but I'm keeping this in mind still just to browse her website and see what she has because honestly I haven't been too into Kim Kardashian's makeup line it's kind of slipped under the radar for me so this kind of caught me off guard these lip colors do look beautiful, but definitely not for someone like me, only because I feel like they're a bit too light, but I definitely want to see her other nude lipsticks range because I am so into nude lips right now, so <laughs> clearly. But yeah, I definitely want to check out the rest of her collection. Next up, we have the Live Tinted Hue Stick, and this is a multi-stick. It's a color corrector. You can use it on your lips, eyes, dark circles, hyperpigmentations. It is vegan, cruelty free and clean. And it does have skincare benefits packed with hydraulic acid, squalene, vitamin C and E. And it has no harsh chemicals such as parabens, sulfates and phthalates. And honestly, it comes in three shades which I find is Perfect because I love what Liv Tinted stands for. I just want to congrats Dipika because she is one to really push this movement forward. I don't know, I'm not a color corrector and I really do support the movement and Dipika and what she stands for and this overall brand. So if I can support this in any other way, maybe if not this release, then any future products that they do release. I'm definitely going to check it out and purchase. So I'm definitely not going to stash or trash this for now. I'm kind of in between because I definitely love and really do want to support this brand and kind of what they're striving towards. And I really would rather save up the money and purchase something else that they might release that I really would use and strongly stand by and believe. Next up, Natasha Denona is releasing... Four new metallic liquid lipsticks as part of our Mark Your Liquid Lips little range. I personally am not going to pick this up because I'm not a fan of metallic liquid lipsticks. It's not that it's Natasha Denona because I love Natasha Denona. I think her formula is amazing. It's just that she's a bit too expensive. Yeah, I feel like metallic lips make my lips look shriveled and gross looking I don't know because I don't I find that they look gorgeous on someone with like lip fillers or someone with super plush and plump lips but your girl lacks in the lip department and that's okay because I personally am a fan of small lips but I personally find that metallic liquid lipsticks do not suit me and that's okay when she comes out with new lip colors that maybe more of a satin finish I might want to check those out instead of this so I'm just gonna trash them for now because I know that when she releases other formulas I'm gonna be more intrigued by that I'm just gonna go back to the taco palette by glam light the swatches look absolutely stunning but then I'm thinking if I'm gonna get that olive palette do I really want this palette this looks so good and again I don't know if it's gross or cool that they're mixing food and makeup together, like the categories. Maybe another Glam Light palette, but I'm just going to trash this one for now. The Margarita Lashes are literally like, literally exactly like my Coco Lashes 9 to 5. And last but not least, because I feel like this video has gone on forever, is the NARS Ooh, okay, exclusive to Mecca Maxima here in Australia. Woo, finally we have something 
before the rest of the world because I feel like we're always the last in the makeup department to have anything that's been released and it is the Metal Cream Multi-Use Palette and it has a smooth shimmer formula packed with intensity that you can use on your eyes, cheeks and body to your desired intensity. And then apparently it's coming soon to other countries depending I guess on how well it does and just its feedback. These colours look stunning, very unique, gorgeous. However, I did hear um, they have a NARS orgasm that the similar multi-use palette and it had horrible reviews. So depending if I hear good reviews about this palette, I might pick it up. But if it has the same horrible reviews from the orgasm collection, then I am probably just going to trash it. Because I have already put into my cart not only a NARS lipstick, but a NARS cheek palette. So I think I'm... I'm good for now. I know I've skipped over a couple of things that I've saved and that's because my camera is literally beeping saying that my battery is running low again. So I'm just gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so so much for watching this episode of Stash and Trash with the new makeup releases for this week. Definitely leave me your thoughts about any of these releases in the comments down below and let's start a discussion. Don't forget to give my video a like to support my channel and to support this video and subscribe if you do love any makeup and beauty related content. I love you guys with all my heart and I'll catch you, my beautiful best friends, in the next video. Bye!